What is up, everybody? Welcome to Let's Free to Play, the show on Sunday where we show you a free to play game either on Steam or maybe even some other website one day eventually and see if you guys like it. It's free, it's let's go, it's puzzle lines and knots. Let's do this thing, shall we? The reason you see continue is because I tried to record this previously and for some reason the capture device did not actually capture the, uh, the game. But it is a pretty simple, neat little game um, where you just swap the pieces and try to connect all of the pieces, like so. Um, basically, one piece will always be unmovable and the other pieces will be movable. And you just connect them. It's real simple. It's real easy. We're going to cover about 10 levels of this as quick as we can. And we will see where that goes. So you just got to start from a point. Obviously, that is not the point you wish to start from. And you just make a little circle right there. And then since that piece needs to connect, and that piece, we move it over there, make a little triangle, make a circle, boom, triangle, circle, everything's connected, lines and puzzles, here we go. Also, I'm just letting you know now, if you do not like already what you see, if you do not think, hey, this could be a little interesting time killer when, I, when I'm playing a game, or like, oh, I want a new puzzler to play. Like, oh, and this one's free, sweet, only a dollar for 80 more levels, like it said on the splash screen, sweet. If you don't think any of that when you're seeing this, then you're not gonna like the game. Like, I'm sorry to tell you, like, it gets more complicated, but it does not ever become more than this. So, yeah, like, I, just so you know, it's not gonna like turn into some crazy different kind of game. And I'm okay with that. I enjoy this, actually. I think this is a good game. Gotta cough. One second, sorry. I think this fulfills all of my puzzle requirements. It's got branching. It's got difficulty that ramps up slowly as you play the game. Um, it doesn't have any new mechanics that I've noticed, which is fine. Some games don't. Not every game has to be have a thousand new mechanics every time you play it. Um, but... It does what it tries to do pretty dang well, if I do say so myself. Like, I mean, especially for free. Like, for free, this is crazy. Um, but yeah. I actually am getting a phone call from my mom, so I'm going to mute myself and edit this. I'll be right back. All right, guys, sorry about that. You don't keep your mom waiting even in a, uh, even in a, even in a video. It's just not something you do. So, where were we? We were doing puzzles. That's right. That's where we were. All right, and I like to finish one color first and then work my way from there because it just seems like that's the easiest way to do things. It, I mean, it almost guaranteed is the easiest way to do things. And then we bring this up and then it makes a weird shape is why I was confused for a second. And then we get this weird little, I don't even know, what would you call it? Like a bean? We get like these bean shapes. All right, level number... Five, I do believe, is coming up next, or was that only four? Oh, we're doing five already. This is level six. We're just moving on. We're just moving along. Works for me. Hmm. Trying to think how we do this one. Maybe we don't start with, maybe we start with blue and try to finish, figure out blue. All right, blue's been figured out. Or has it? Hmm. How do we go about Finishing this one. Bring you down. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now we've connected that to that. Boom. All right. Figured it out. Had to get the brain, the noggin working there over time for a second. You, you've already done some of these puzzles. Why do you not know them? Well, you know what? I forget puzzles after I finish them half the time. So that's why. Level seven incoming. And now we got... Oof, now they're getting bigger and bigger as time goes along. You see a little green line here trying to hide from us? 
How dare it? How dare it try to hide from us? Technically, that would work, yeah. That also goes to well together. Maybe like a red and a green that's still left anywhere. There's a red and a green, but it doesn't really work. This one has green and blue that has to... So green and blue has to come down through here. So yeah, that's green and blue. And red and green have to come over here. And this is the only red and green one, I think. Yes, yeah, the only red and green one. Okay, so let's bring a blue over here. This is the only red and green one, right? Oh, this is a red and green one as well. I think it has to be this one. I think it has to be that. I think it has to be that. So I think that's how red goes. That's how all of them, boom. Success. No puzzle is too strong for the noob. We're a noob for a reason though. We, we have to think through it really, really hard. But we got there, eventually. Also, I still, I said this last time I recorded, I don't know if I said it this time, but if you hear my puppy in the background bumping into things or whining or something, he just got done with his getting getting neutered yesterday. So he's got his, uh, his little cone on his head and he bumps into stuff and he whines because, I mean, I would whine too. <laughs> but yeah, that's why. Just letting you guys know. And so now now we get a thing where like not all the colors are in the grayed out portion. Like green is not in there anywhere. But we know that this has to go here because it's the only red and blue one that we have. I believe it's the only red and blue one that we have. And I don't think that works. But that should work. And bring this over here. Look, you see, kind of see how green runs through there. It's a little difficult to make out, but if you look, you can see it. And that's how you can kind of tell what pieces go where a little bit. I actually didn't figure that out until a little bit later last time around, so I'm glad I figured it out sooner this time around. And I also wanted to show you guys the, uh, the what this little help thing does down here. Um, but basically what it is, is if you click it, it's like, here's the finished product, now work backwards from it, basically. It's like, there you go, boom, now work backwards. Now, I didn't really look at that, so I'm going to kind of go, I've done this puzzle before, so I shouldn't really have to look at it. But I mean, we'll see how that works out for us, right? Like, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works out for us. This looks like it's coming together correctly, though. This is not correct, obviously. I mean, that technically works, yes. But I think it's... No, this one can't move, can it? No, this one can't move. There we go. I was like, this one has to move. Never mind. I'm wrong. Happens sometimes. Happens. Just slowly s our way along. There's that. Success. And then we just make a circle over here. Boom. Complete. Now, 10, I did get stuck on for a little bit, but I got stuck on it for so long, it's still fresh in my mind. And that's where we had ended the last episode was at, at number 10 when we finished it. So hopefully this doesn't take me 10 minutes. <laughs> I think it took me about four, four-ish minutes before I asked for help last time. So you have to make these red lines basically with this one um, not there though I don't think this is correct way to make them I can't remember I think the red I think the red lines go like oh goodness Oh, goodness. I've forgotten how the red lines go. Is it that way? It is that way. Okay. I was like, well, how, do, how do do the red lines? How do do? 
And then you have to make a circle as well. So like this piece goes down here. This piece goes over here. And then there's one more piece that goes right there. And we are just missing those two pieces to switch spots. Boom. Level 10 complete. This game is pretty neat to me. I love the background, like the little peaceful aesthetics. The music is a little loud, but it's very peaceful. Um, and little orange glows there, like the little like little raindrops. Like every once in a while you see like a little meteor that flies down the background and stuff. Like it's really nice, peaceful puzzler game that just you can kill some time with. So, I mean, if you got to this point of the video, you know you like the video. You know you like the game. You should just get it. Just pick it up. It's free. Dollar for 80 more levels. It's great. I don't know how many levels there are in total, but... 80 more for a buck is not bad, and I mean, we've already gotten through 10, we've killed 12 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like. If you got any comments, go down below, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button, it helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Peace.